Hello and welcome to the very first redstone tutorial of this channel. Now today I'll be showing you how to make a penta piston extender. So basically it will be going one, two, three, four, five blocks high. So first thing I do want to do is I want to give credit to Rat Pat and to Tinker77 where they designed this uh, triple piston extender simple design but very compact and very beneficial the reason is because the core design of this thing does use it as you can see it's like the central part so it does use that core design i just added things onto it to be able to make the piston go five blocks high so over here we have resources to craft this up it will use 10 redstone dust seven repeaters one piston, 11 sticky pistons, 12 observers, 4 glass. Uh, this is any free building block. I'm using iron blocks, but you can use anything such as cobblestone or wood. Any unmovable object. Here I'm using obsidian, but you can use furnaces or other things like that. Eight of those. White concrete powder, but it could be also sand or gravel. Just need two of those. Slime blocks or honey blocks, either one is fine, you just need four of those, and then a stone button. This is the resources to build this main contraption. In this chest, you need 24 redstone and 35 repeaters. What this is for is for this timer because you need to power this system four times for to push the block five blocks up and another four times to bring the block back down. And this circuit, even though it's not that compact, it's, it does the job. So, let me show you this machine in action. So, that was one retraction. So, you can see this would be the floor level. So there is, sadly, you will have a few blocks visible on the surface, and when it's in its extended form, it will have an, a piston invisible. But I think, considering that it's stackable and tileable, which means that you can put like as many as you want next to each other, and it's fairly small and compact, I think that's pretty good. And this is the retraction. So now you can see that it would be flush with the floor mostly. There's just a few blocks here that poke out. Now this sadly is visible but I think it's not that bad. It's just two blocks that poke up. So And it looks kind of cool if you have multiple next to each other. So like a pile of those. I think that looks kind of cool. You can add some cool design about it. But that sad, that has to stay visible. So. Let's get on to the tutorial then. So let's start off by gathering our regular blocks. This, I'm just using iron blocks, but you can use anything. So we'll dig down one, two, three, four. Just place it there. I just like to have a nice indicator in where I'm placing my redstone. Then we grab our redstone and we place one, two, three, four. On top of that, we'll be placing four more blocks. Then we'll grab our repeaters. First we place one redstone dust, two repeaters, make sure that they're both in four ticks. And then we'll go and grab our sticky pistons and place one here. And we'll place one more on top. Take our observer, make sure that you place it on top. Don't want to click on it, you want to make sure that that stays in four ticks. The eyes, they face into that repeater. Then we take a block, we put this on top. Grab our slime blocks, place one, two, three. Then we take our sticky piston again, point it up, and put a slime block on top of that. And we'll come here, we'll place one observer like this and one observer like this, so that both of them are facing into these slime blocks so that the red parts point out. And we'll take our block, 
and another observer pointing there so that the eyes are facing out. <clears throat> then we'll grab our obsidian and place two obsidian there. Now this might happen, so you just destroy those, put that back, that should be fixed. This is the first section of it. Then we'll come back down here, we'll place a repeater, just one tick, an observer into the repeater, and we'll place one at four ticks here, a piston like this, observer pointing out of this, place two more sticky pistons up, so that it's facing like this. So you can maybe see already where this is going. This is where over here, this triple piston, we're basically building this circuit. So let me go back to there. So we're going to place this up so that this triangle thing arrow is pointing up. And we take our reg we take a piss sticky piston, point it up, make sure that the eyes are facing away so that this dot is facing towards this piston. We don't put a block here, we'll put two more pistons up like this. And we'll take our observer again. Make sure that he's facing into that thing so that the red dot's on top. Then we put a block like that. Then we'll come over here. And we'll take a red stone repeater. Four ticks like that. And we'll have an iron block. And we grab our glass blocks. We'll do this shape like this. So we'll have one glass block here, one glass block here, and two more up here like this. We'll just go redstone, redstone. Redstone, redstone. On this last glass block, we'll place a repeater, four ticks. Then we'll place an iron block here, and a regular piston facing up. Then we'll come off at the end here of this glass. We'll go redstone, repeater set to four ticks. Come up here, place an observer so that his eyes are facing into the repeater. Then we come with a piston over here. Make sure that this dot, the eyes, there's are facing towards this piston face, but there's a gap in between. We place another piston. We do the same thing like we did over there. So we have piston gap observer, piston gap observer. Then we'll come up here. We'll place our not not blocks, but we'll place our concrete powder, or if you use sand or gravel in this case, any falling object is fine. So. That goes there. Then we can come and place whatever desired block. I'm just gonna maybe take andersite so it doesn't blend in as well as so it doesn't blend in with all these blocks here. But this would be your block that you'd be pushing up five blocks. So let's just see one, two, three, four, five. So it would be up there. <coughs> now we'll place one more block here. And that should be it for the actually no we need a button <laughs> right there so that should be it for this circuit I noticed I made a mistake earlier what so over here when you come to this obsidian part where I said regular block obsidian obsidian remove this top obsidian I meant to place just two obsidian like that so it goes redstone here block repeater observer pointing into this and then above this observer you just have two obsidian no regular block there we don't want it sticking to this slime block so that should be then it so we finished this up now let's test this so I'm gonna click the button but it won't immediately go up like I said earlier there's a timing thing because for this to use one cycle which means bring this block those five blocks high you need to have the button input four times. So let's just test this out before we add that timing circuit to make sure that we have it working. So one, two, three, and you want by the third time that that block is up there next to at that floor level, and then the fourth time. So, you might see that up here. So, this would be the floor level. Let's just take a few blocks. So, this is all fine. You can place blocks all around. The only space where I would say don't place a block is between these observers. Don't do that. But, 
if you just go around it like this, this should be fine. So this would be ground level. When it's in its upper form, so when that block is at the fifth block up, there will be the piston here. I wasn't able to get it retracting, but if someone's able to do that, go ahead and comment comment it in the comments below. That'd be great. But I think this is relatively good for a penta piston extender. So and now that's retracted, let me just remove these blocks so that you can see the process. So one two three four. So now it should be flush with the floor. So this is where I said earlier you need Abit Obsidian, you only really need two. But if you want to have a floor at this level, you do need these side ones. So, and it's not like, so let's say you're building two systems, you don't need then 16, you just need these two and then just the extra six. So it's mainly only two for the circuit. So let's say it was two wide. Then you would have it like this. So you have the six out there and then two. So instead of it being 16, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'd have eight. 9, 10. So you'd have 10. <laughs> yeah. So let me show you, let me build a second one next to it to show that you can put multiple next to it. But there is something you do need to change if you do that. So I'm going to show you that very quick. So yeah, I'll be back to you once I built the second one. Okay, I'm back. I built the second one. So now it's too wide. Now the thing you do want to change is you see how there's slime block, slime block, and like these slime blocks are all sticking together. This would overreach the push limit if you have, like, I think already this amount, but if you add multiple, it will overreach and then the system will break. So what you do have to do is get your honey blocks and place next to them honey blocks. So it will be like slime, honey, and then you'll have, like, again, a slime, and after that you'll have another honey if you have multiple next to each other, but you just don't want the same two next to each other. So you can have, like, there slime and honey and on top the slime and honey and then as you see I just added originally the button was here just remove that put two, re two redstone an extra block just bring it together hook it up to a button and if you click it And there it's fully up in the extended position so as you see it works and then here you just go with your obsidian place those extra spare six and then you can just go around with your whatever block or flooring you want nice pattern just have here it doesn't need to be obsidian like i said earlier it can be any non-movable object so anything that doesn't really get stuck to these blocks and then let's just do this system again Now, if you ask me, I think it's actually pretty cool that just this huge machine just emerges from the ground and pulls down these blocks or brings them up. So I think that's like a cool thing to show off. So, yeah, that's the Penta Piston Extender. Now, I'm pretty sure none of you guys want to hit the button four times just to get the blocks up and hit it again four times to bring it down. So that's what I did over here. It's not the most compact. I'm pretty sure you guys can make it more compact, but it just, it works. It just sends four signals into the machine at the correct time, so I'm going to show you how to build that very quick. So you come here, and you bring here out one, and then an out another one, and then out again. So then you just add a repeater here, bring it out just a bunch, like yeah, like that amount, I think it's good. Have a three gap here, then there. So you can just add your button here, it doesn't. You can have this, this is basically the wire here, where you can like 
have it go to a mountain or something super far away I'm just gonna have it for convenience over here but then you just have here to make sure that there's this three redstone gap so you come here one two one two three yeah like that and you come here redstone dust then you go out another one then you go again redstone dust then you turn you do one two three redstone dust turn again one two three so it should be one two three dust repeater dust one two three dust one two three dust and then it goes into there then we come up here we do one two dust dust one two three four dust one two dust one two three then we come back to this dust so you see where we did the dust dust come to the second dust and you do one two three dust one two three four five six dust one two three dust one and this should be it now just make sure go through once you have that all set put them all to four ticks like this Now once you get to this one, where you just see this line dust and then there's just this run repeater, this one is the only one that you keep on one tick. So all of these, they should be on their four ticks, but this one up here in front, the special one all by himself, he gets to stay on one tick. And if we hit the button, so if we hit this button, That is the extension process. So this is how it will look. Make sure you don't fall in there. <laughs> you could, in theory, just put blocks on the sides of that if you don't want to have that visible. So you can just have it like that. More convenient. And then for the retraction. And that was the retraction. So then everything is nice and flat. You have these, these just these two things that poke up. But I think that's fine, considering that you can put so many next to each other. So that that's Penta Piston Extender. Thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you again in the next video. Goodbye.